Obviously, I'm recording this immediately after the previous segment. Welcome back to 007 Goldeneye on N64. Surface. Agent, of course. Power down. Okay, yeah, you can see that. A spy satellite has detected increased levels of activity at an old observatory complex near Servant Severnaya in Russia. Other sources have confirmed the shipment of a large amount of computer hardware to that location and an influx of skilled personnel. It might be a coincidence that there is a new head of the Soviet Space Weapons Division, your old friend General Orumov, or it might not. Penetrate the base and find out what is going on. Building plans for the underground section would be ideal. They're unlikely to just be lying around, so look for a safe. There's bound to be someone you can borrow a key from. I've looked over the recon photographs, and I advise you to stay clear of the main bunker entrance by the helipad. However, there seems to be a ventilation tower nearby, which would make an excellent spot for covert entry. You ought to power down the comms dish, too. No point in letting them tell the whole of Russia you've dropped, you've dropped in. It's cold in Siberia, James. Make sure you wrap up warm and take care to protect your extremities. And needless to say, I'm just going to speed strafe through 90% of these missions because, again, it's so much faster to do it that way than walking normally. Now, on any other difficulty, these guards would take multiple hits to kill, unless you shot them in the head. In which case, obviously, they'll die in one hit. Okay, that's nothing. There's the communications dish. I am going to try to be somewhat stealthy, at least. So I forget, actually, do I have to get a key for this on Agent? No. There we go. Communications dish powered down. You can definitely fail objectives by uh, blowing up objectives or killing innocent people, etc. I'm not going to show off every way you can fail missions. I might show off a few by accident. Especially if people you're supposed to be escorting get in your way, <clears throat> which can happen, and I know has happened to some of you if you're watching this, because it's inevitable that that would happen. <clears throat> uh, oh right, these take two bullets per... two bullets per lock. Now, do I just go straight to Bunker? Yeah. Weirdly, you don't actually end up here. Er, you don't go through the main bunker. But anyway, copy gold Nike, the original photograph main video screen. A spy satellite has... Wait. I think that's literally the same as the previous mission. Let me see. Yeah, that's literally the same, so I don't need to read that again. 007, I want you to infiltrate this base and find out what the devil's going on there. The satellite photographs reveal that there has been a recent underground excavation. We'd like to know the exact nature and planned extent of the workings. By the way, this is a covert operation. You may have to neutralize the security, but try not to be too obvious about it. You'll be doing some computer hacking on this mission, 007. I know you'd rather be cracking open a bottle of bubbly than cracking passwords, so I've taken the liberty of putting together a little gadget which will do the hard work for you. 
If you attach the data thief to their mainframe, it should override any computer security measures and download the information we require. Underground in Siberia, James. Some of us don't get further than the Northern Line. Okay. So first we're going to turn... Wait. Well, let's blow up the camera. The cameras can actually set off an alarm. Which I don't really want. It's not as bad as when we revisit this place, though. Okay, now everyone knows where I'm at. Which is fine, because I can just gun them down with the K-7 Soviet. Now, I think this guy here can actually die, and it's not a problem. But, I could be wrong. So let's look at that key analyzer. In order to use special items, you do have to actually pause the game and go into it from the pause menu. Which I'm actually okay with. I mean, that's how you do it in... Technically, you don't have to do that in Perfect Dark, but it's better to just do it and do that in Perfect Dark, too. Also, time is actually moving when Bond lifts his wrist up to look at his watch. So you can actually die while pausing the game, and enemies can hurt you while you're pausing and unpausing the game. Which actually makes sense. It's like in real life you can't do that. Now I know I'm going through these missions super duper quick, because first of all it's agent difficulty. Like, you could do stuff really fast on Agent if you know, well, on any difficulty if you know what you're doing. But second of all, like, I'm not gonna waste time looking around the levels. Because I could do that on other. I could do that on other levels, or on other difficulties where I have to explore the level. Currently, I know I'm holding up the game here. I currently only plan on doing Agent and maybe secret agent. I have no plans on double-O agent right now. MI6 has become concerned that unscheduled test firings from a missile silo in Kyrgyzstan are being used to cover the launch of the GoldenEye weapon satellites. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this is where I where I got into from uh, the surface, so... Anyway. Deep Intelligence reports that this operation may well be outside the control of the former Soviet powers in the region. Infiltrate the silo and ascertain what is being placed into orbit. If it is the satellites, recover their control circuitry and sabotage the launches. You are authorized to destroy the base if necessary. This is a matter of international security, 007. Consider the military personnel expendable. The layout of the missile silo means that a few carefully placed explosive charges will destroy the entire complex. Concentrate on the fuel rooms, H4, C3, K2, and A1. 007. Remember, you, remember to treat the timed explosives with respect. You know what happened to 004 in Beru. I... no, I'm probably pronouncing these right, names wrong and I'm sorry. Oh, and give me a picture of the satellite. There's a good chap. You leave at 1800... 100. 1800 hours for Bis Bishkek. James, just imagine those romantic nights in the steppes. Lying beneath the stars, the campfires twinkling on the hills. Sounds like heaven. When you're in the arms of some dusky maiden, spare a thought for poor old me cooped up behind a desk in rainy London. So this mission has a target time of three minutes on 
agent. It's not super hard two years ago. Um, but you gotta go fast. You can't be wasting your time killing every guard in the area. I'm gonna try that now. So we're gonna gun these guys down, of course. We're gonna gun him down. I think I just shot a guy in the head. So in each of these areas, there are a group of scientists. They will throw their hands up in the air, and the last one to throw their hands up in the air will drop a key card, on allowing you access to the next area. This repeats for every area except for like the final area, I believe. You can kill a few scientists, but you can't kill if too many die, then you lose. picked up a circuit board. That doesn't matter on this difficulty, but it does matter on uh, Agent and Double O- er, Secret Agent and Double O Agent. Yeah, see, this door is locked, so I need to find the key card, wherever it is. There it is. <clears throat> So the path to go, I think, is always right at those intersections. I could be wrong, but I think it's always right. Gosh, I don't know why I'm saying could be. I know it is. Now, there's a lot of guards here. The secret agent. Well, on any difficulty other than agent, this might be a problem. Throw your hands up, drop your key card. Thank you very much. You had to finish your some your roll before you died there. Enemies, I think, can kill themselves with friendly fire. I, I gotta run away, because I think he unpinned a grenade. Okay, here's the satellite I need to take a picture of. I don't think the in mission time increases while the game is paused. Like in Resident Evil, I hope. It's there, right? uh, do you drop a key card, or do I just go straight to? Okay, kill him. There's Oru. Okay. Oh, here, I'll gun down a few more guards because I actually have more time. Come on, get up, boom. down, and got the elevator. Got to the elevator. I think that was under three minutes. Ah, oh, just short of it. I almost feel like trying that again, but that's fine. I can do it again later. All right. So, that is it for this segment. These segments are obviously going to be really short. But anyway, next time I will see you on Frigate Monte Carlo. See you guys next time. <laughs>